Hi, we're at Delo Industry Days 2025 in Copenhagen, Denmark, and we are now with Raphael to find out what they are proposing for the modernization of the Royal Danish Navy fleet. We are with the regional uh, director for the Nordic countries, Danny Anbari. Danny, good morning. Good morning. Thank you for welcoming us. So uh, you are showcasing a number of uh, systems here. Uh, can you tell us more about uh, what you are offering to the Royal Danish Navy for the modernization programs? Yes, yeah, so uh, one product here is a CGEM, that's an off-board active uh, decoy. It's a very unique product and we exploit the fact that uh, we have the technology to minimize a full electronic warfare system into this, uh, this size. And uh, the idea is you uh, fire it out of your uh, from your ship when uh, you have a threat uh, imminent and it uh, comes down with a with a parachute receives uh, transmissions from the uh, missiles uh, radar and uh, sends out a uh, transmission to uh, attract uh, the uh, enemy uh, missile and uh, this is the fruit of many many years of, uh, of development but we believe that uh, this is the only uh, solution uh, for modern uh, missile seekers uh, the CGM has now been uh, integrated with uh, several uh, trainable decoy uh, launchers. Uh, how is that uh, important? Is it to uh, be able to you know, uh, provide many customers that want different configurations? Yes, at the, at the end of the day, uh, the customer has uh, several, I would say, considerations when he selects uh, the launcher. Uh, so we would like to be launcher agnostic. It's not always uh, possible, but we are actually trying to uh, achieve that. And uh, we produce uh, the, the payload. We want it to be uh, suitable for any, any launcher they, uh, they decided. So we have already integrated uh, to several uh, launchers. One is already uh, operational with uh, the Israeli Navy, but uh, there are others uh, which we are working on. And uh, here in uh, Denmark, you are proposing this for which uh, programs, which ships? Well, uh, it started off with uh, the uh, patrol uh, ships and we are expecting the, the uh, Danish Navy to follow the requirement into the Arctic uh, program uh, too, the Arctic ship uh, program too. All right, Danny, what else are you uh, well, showcasing here? Another exciting uh, pro uh, product is a Sea Spotter. Sea Spotter is uh, an IRST system, a naval uh, IRST system, but uh, a really high performance uh, uh, IRST system. And uh, the whole idea between, behind uh, such a product is that uh, when you are uh, under threat uh, or under attack from uh, foreign uh, missiles, you want to make sure that you detect the missiles. Radars are not always perfect uh, at, uh, for low skimming, low sea skimming uh, uh, missiles, and uh, this is effective in that uh, environment uh, exactly and it provides a uh, similar detection uh, ranges and uh, the other is that uh, this is a passive system it does not uh, transmit so uh, when uh, the missile is uh, seeking you out it might also use your ra radar transmissions and uh, this uh, can help in that uh, respect combine the two of them together and uh, you get uh, a very effective uh, ship defense all while remaining fully passive on the electromagnetic spectrum at least for the detection part absolutely all right, Danny, thank you very much. Thank you very much.